There's a fast day tonight, yes. The mitzvah today is to eat ochrin v'shotim. They eat and they drink the whole entire day. And Shem say people, because we are happy over the fact that we come to a day where Hashem is going to take away all of our Averot. And today, in itself, Kedushat, the ninth of the Tishrei has the same, almost the same thing as Yom HaKippurim like itself. So therefore, there's a big, a big concept to do a lot of eating and rejoicing and to be happy. There's a mitzvah to have a sudam of second. You eat the whole day today. And afterwards you have a Sudam of second, not like Erev Tisha B'Av, sit on the floor and eat something very small, try it only one time, no, you make a Sudat Shalomo. Lechem Mishneh, you, bring, you buy bread. Don't forget to buy bread for, for now, and to buy bread for Motzei Kippur also, because you're supposed to make a Sudah after Yom Kippur finishes, you go home, you make another Sudah, big, big, big Sudah. Bread, wash, show, sure, of course. Uh, there's even a Shirayim Poskim, if you're allowed to leave over Hamin. From Erev Yom Kippur to after Kippur, and Allah Poskim say you're not allowed to. It's not supposed to be done because uh, it's, it's a whole talk about it in the, in the, in the, in the Shulchan Aruch. Anyhow, the first B'Zat Hashem today, there's going to be two, min, two, two prayers of Minha. There's going to be the early one. We ask everyone to please come. The first Minha is going to be B'Zat Hashem. is going to be here in the Shul. It's going to be at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. We will have the Sfarim over here for people who have to pray. We pray early in the day, we do the vidui, and afterwards we go home to make the Sudam of second. And, and the second minyan is going to be for those who have to go to work and are not going to be able to make it, it's going to be at minyan at 610. So the minyan at 610 is going to be in the house, 170 04 67th Avenue. Who's going to be there? A lot of people, plenty, you'll be surprised. I will be there. Huh? The, the fast begins at exactly what? At candle lighting. Candle lighting, we have to start early on. So the fast begins at 6.15. So what you do is you finish eating by 6.10, you say your birkat amalot by 6.15, you learn to do shul. When you come to shul, there's going to be a minyan for minha for those who did not pray. So what about if you did not pray? Huh? If you didn't, how you don't have to. No, you, 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 you finish at 6.15 anyhow, because you're supposed to add from Chorah HaKodesh. Don't worry about that. Then, it's very important to remember, make sure you are in the shul by 6.15. There's a candle lighting is at that time. Then, another thing we have to remember is, do not forget to bring a talit with you, whoever has, uh, because tonight, we, the whole day, we wear white. There's a concept, some people even have a concept to ch ch change their clothing, and they wear white clothing. Is there obligation for that? If you wear a talit, I think that should be, supposed to be good enough. Okay, another thing is the following, the shoes, do not forget, the shoes have to be changed. No leather shoes. Leather looking is fine, but make sure it's not leather. How about a belt? A belt, no. It's only for shoes. You can tell like a dressed as a cowboy, completely leather, right? Leather hat, leather jacket, leather pants. Something like leather soles. Yeah. Right. No, no, no leather at all. Like if you have a piece of leather on a sneaker. Nothing. No, no, no leather What's in your shoes like whatsoever. Sneakers and other little pieces. I, 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 I don't know. I know one thing. There's no leather at all. I don't, I don't, don't, don't know these things. But a little bit, not a little bit. Another thing to remember. Another thing to remember is as follows. Uh, the, on Yom Kippur, you have five Inuim, you have five torches. There is no eating and drinking, that's one torture. There is no rubbing lotions and what's in, uh, on your body and oils and whatnot. Washing the Tirat Yadayim, we don't do, we only wash up to here. Right? You go to the bathroom, you wake up in the morning, you wash only till here. Okay? Then, another thing is as follows, we don't wash our faces in the morning. You clean your eyes, whatever you have with little damp hands, that shouldn't be out. No washing, no lechitza, no sicha. So achila shtia we did is one. Sicha is rubbing oils and ointments on your body. No. Then there is also a concept of no lechitza, uh, no showering. Then there is nirana sandal, not, not wearing shoes, right? Leather shoes. And one more is there's no relations, which means husband and wife oh separate. Uh, now, the uh, next yeah. thing we have is like it's the first Bezrat Hashem, Ha'atanit Matkhila Bezrat Hashem at 6.15, and Bezrat Hashem tomorrow the Ta'anit finishes at 7.18. So at 7.18 exactly, you will hear the following of the Shofar. Under that, 7.18 you will hear the Shofar tomorrow, Bezrat Hashem it Balak. Okay? Matkhilim Shema Shesh Vareva. Bro, one for one quest. After you keep for Arabic, can we not say so fast? Because you're not supposed to. Nobody hear. says fast. Don't worry about that. We're going to have a normal life. For all let's those learn, who want, there's right going to be Minyan yes, Shlishi. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Okay. So remember these halakhot. It's very important. Okay.
We got everything clear. I think we covered everything. For sure. the, one time. the most important thing, please do not forget. You come to Yom Kippur before you go to you should go to Shul. There is a concept of getting malchut. They they beat you after they after they beat you throughout the day. After the rim. After they pay after they beat you, you pay money for it. It has to be paid. It's called, it's, there's a reason for it explained, but the Shai brings down the explanations why you're supposed to pay. If you, don't, if you don't pay, it's not right, you're supposed to pay. Don't worry about it, the money's going to go to the shoes, going to go for a good use. Another thing they have is the concept of having the kaparot. People do chickens, people do money. Do the value of the chicken, whatever it is. Go to Meishu, figure out how much it is, and do it. It's about eight you ten dollars, he said. Whatever. Yeah. You, they, you take the money, and you I do know. everybody one by one. You come to your house, there's in the beginning of the Mahzor, of Yom Kippur, there is, if you need one, you can come to Shul at 2 o'clock, pick one up, take it home with you, have the Mahzor in here. You say, Elo Amahot, you Khalifatat, Wal Taka Parathcha, it will lose the car, but that is the Chaim Tohim Mushalom. You say three times per hour. Salafatet, Tuvaratet. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times you do per person, okay? Three times. Elo Amahot, you Khalifatat, Wal Taka Parathcha. Now, there's another concept of... After you do Kabbalah, there's a concept of eating Sudot. The first Sudot today you start with is with, with fish. If you can eat fish yeah. for Sudot Shaharit, it's yeah. beautiful. Rav Ahidak Rav is very important. Some people have a minhag to do Sheva Sudot, small, seven small seven meals. Small. They do throughout the bread. whole day. Wash for bread. Wash for bread, go do things, come back. There's a whole thing, okay? Bread. So this, let's start. The 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 there's not Bitul Torah, it's Kiyum Torah. Oh, You're fulfilling Mitzvah. Uh, no, you could learn, by the way, eat and learn at the same time. It's not a contradiction. Right. Well, okay. all, the, all the time, like, uh, the, the longest time in history, everybody's been using chickens. Should we stick No, the there's a two machlok. Ashkenazim do chickens. The Svadim for generations used to do only money. The Svadim hold and this is like a little bit controversial. Okay, we're going to do the Kabbalah right now. Yes. Who has to do it? Who can do it right now? For the family? I want to go home and show you about it. I'll try to do it with my daughter also.